What's going on guys? Apathy back here with another video and after getting some positive feedback on my last video where this was Redwood, s and Tip Tricks and Spots, I decided, you know what, let's do some more maps. So right here I'm on my fringe and I'm about to be showing you guys a lot of new things, cool things, probably stuff you guys did not know yet. So first off, I'm going to do kind of what I did in my last video. I'm going to start off with like some sniper rushes, spots where you can get used to you get information, especially with fringe being a huge sniper map. I think this is going to be really good for you guys. So we obviously have the cylinder. I think this is well known in the community. Everyone knows this already. Everyone's seen people snipe. But I'm just showing you in case you didn't. So you just pretty much wall run really high up. That's obviously a really good spot. Next up, we're going to have the cylinder one. Now, this one is not used often. But I think it's really good because you catch people off guard. You basically do this. Boom. It's really good because people expect you to be up here. Maybe here. But you just come out of nowhere from the left. Front the center, cylinder. Boost up. And boom, headshot. Now, one of my favorites, what you want to do is jump on top of this pre truck. Do not go on this metal part. You cannot cling on that. You can only cling on the orange part. So, what you're going to do is boost up to the orange, high up. You're going to jump off this wall. Boom, first blood. If you don't see anyone, you can cling on to the next wall. You can cling on this wall. Then, boom. And you can just keep clinging on the wall. I like to do this back and forth for a while. I even could do this. Look in the alley. Nothing. Okay. Come back here. Oh, I'm still on the wall. Boom. Now we're going to start off with this side. I got four nice spots to show you. I'm going to show you guys real quick. So for this back spawn spot, do not go on this half side of the wall. From this pallet, do not go on this half. You're not going to be able to do it correctly. You want to go on the upper part. So this spot is really good when it comes to getting A-cross information and maybe getting your first blood. So you're going to climb up here and go all the way up. Then boost all the way up top of the barn. Then jump off as soon as you're at the edge. And boom, you can snipe someone. And two, you can see the eight cross is in. It's a very good spot. Very useful information for your team. Next spot I'm going to show you guys is this spot. So a lot of people like to snipe here. It's not. It's okay because you maybe want to get some more information. But if you're just focused on the grandmas or there's a guy who keeps sniping your grandmas, what you can do is a very good spot. Is what you want to do is jump on this ledge. It's basically a head glitch because this whole thing is head. You're basically on a head glitch while they're on the open pretty much. And it's very good for trying to snipe that guy in grandmas. Next spot I'm going to show you guys. It's a little bit illegal, but hey, I'm here teaching you guys some new things and cool things. So I learned this about two weeks ago, and I'm going to show you guys real quick. So a lot of people like to snipe here. It's not a bad idea. You know, you can get kills. You're in that pretty much in a head glitch. It's a very good spot. But what people like to do is sometimes they'll push at the edge of the train and you can't really snipe him for two reasons. One, he's in a head glitch, has higher ground, you can't really hit that shot, and there's a turbine in the way. So what I thought you could do is, you see this ledge over here? You don't even need to jump on this rock. You just boost back, and then you can just jump off. And then, boom! Pretty nerdy, right? <laughs> it's actually a really cool spot that you can do, and you can constantly do it. It's nothing illegal, you know, you are out of bounds, but hey, nobody's stopping you. It's not that bad. It's, it's completely doable. Now for the last spot, what you want to do is jump on top of this truck, jump on top of this wall. Now you're wall running high. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can just jump off here, shoot someone or get information and run wall running back. Or you can do the maniac way. I really don't recommend doing the maniac way, which is this. Jump completely off, try to snipe someone and try to get through the defensive side as you're doing it. Alright guys, that completes the sniper rush spots and stuff like that for information. Now we're going to be talking about bomb defending areas and spots that you can use that are really helpful. Okay guys, so when it comes to defending beat, this is obviously a very useful spot. You know, you can check the whole train push. It's not a bad spot, but if you want to be a sneaky beaver and you want to be hella sneaky, you know, let them run right past you, a good spot is right here. Why? They can't see you because it's turbine. If they walk right down, hey, there's no one back here, let's push this out. Or one guy's going to push through thinking there's no one back here. And then boom, you kill that guy. You can immediately go behind a head glitch, maybe get a kill or two. It's a very, very good spot. Next, this is an obvious spot, but it's really good as well, the turbine. You can see the B-bomb cross. You can, they can push you. And obviously, if you jump up, you can see the whole train push. You can even run away if you have to just by sliding away. Now, another spot people rarely ever use that I feel like it's highly underrated is this wood pallet right here. Why? If you crouch, they can't see you. You can see if someone flies over you. You can see through the cracks if someone is passing right next to you. All it takes for you to get up. Oh, you're dead. And then you can just run away again. Or you can even go fences or make a play after that. If your teammate's right near you, he'll just get the next kill. It's a very good underrated spot. And trust me, if you're crouched, you're fine. If you're feeling like, oh, maybe a little bit secure, I'm not fine. What you can do is just prone. Still watch the cross. The only thing if they jump up, jump up, you won't really see them. But you can still sound horrid, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I really recommend you just crouch. Now, somehow you're going to beat them to train or you're expecting the re-rotation that they're rotating back to B. What you can do is just prone right here. You can see obviously left, right. They can't really see you unless they completely look down at your body. As soon as someone's coming, you just immediately kill them. Now, another hidden spot people rarely ever use, but I think it's pretty damn good, or for at least information, is right here. So, you guys probably did not know this, but you can see through this crack, and yes, you can shoot through it. 
So if a guy's right here, if a guy's middle, you can kind of start shooting him and even see him. Now for the next spots, I'll be showing you six spots or seven, I don't even know, in the barn. Obviously, you guys probably know half of them, but maybe you guys don't know some of them. So this spot is really good for a ton of reasons. So if you're ever here, you know, there's a guy's small room, you're shooting a guy here, and they start shooting you, or you need to run away, and they stun you, or they're coming for you, you do this. Boop, back up. They're gonna come in like idiots. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Now, this spot is really good as well. Just jump up right here. It's pretty much the same thing. You can shoot them to the left, right. They'll come in completely clueless and you just kill them. So, what you can do is actually you can jump on his wooden pallets. You can just go right here and be a sneaky beaver. This spot is so good. It's a new spot. I just learned this about a month ago. And the reason this spot is so highly effective is somebody comes in like this, especially through this window. They are look clueless. Look, look at my screen. I don't see the left. I don't see anyone here. I don't expect anyone to be here. And also way you could do it is you don't even need to jump on the wood pallet. Simply go in this corner. Jump up. I don't know where I am. I'm floating. But I'm here. I'm in a good spot. Another couple corners is this one right here. You basically see all three entries. Kill this guy. This guy. This guy. And then also you can use this spot right here. This is more of a sneaky spot. I see it rarely used. But I think it's a very effective spot. People don't just know. People don't always like. If you come like this. Alright you don't see anyone. You don't see anyone. People aren't just going to go like. Alright let me. Oh, oh, there he is. No, people don't do that shit. It's a really good hidden spot. And then, of course, you have this spot right here. A lot of you guys already know this corner. It's a staircase corner. One door away. Pretty easy to watch. Now, when it comes to defending A, this is actually a pretty cool spot. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know, but a lot of you guys don't. Is what you want to do is you want to jump on this poke corner. Now, why is this so good? Well, first of all, you have mid cross. So you can pretty much see the mid cross. You can see if a guy comes and breaks through mid. You can see if someone pushes your spawn. And guess what? You can see them come in A. And if he's planning it right there, guess what? You can shoot him. It's a very, very useful spot. Now, for A, there's a couple spots you can use. Uh, I highly recommend this one right here, one of my favorites. Jump, just jump on top of his trash can. Boom. You can see middle. You can see both do doorways. You're in a really solid spot. And that's why you can use this right here in this corner. The reason I like using this spot is just because easily, if you're head glitching this, yeah, you can head glitch the bomb once in a while. But if they're peak Elwa, they can see you. This is more of a sneaky spot. They're going to they're gonna peak Elwa. Hey, there's nothing on bomb. Let me push it. and come and break. He's dead. Or a guy's going to come in here. Be like, oh, there's nothing on bomb. You, you, like, this corner is so effective because you actually have to turn your camera to the left. Just to see him. If you just sprint like this, you're not going to see the guy. You literally have to do this. Now, for Junkyard, there's a couple spots you can use. You can use this spot. Watch the cross through the crack right here. And then see if a guy pushes you. All right, kill him. All right, kill him. You can also use this spot right here. It's actually a pretty good spot. What you want to do is you prone. Then you crawl up to the car. You can see the entrance right there of the tin. You can see if a guy pushes up to your left. You can see the tin window. And you're extremely, extremely hidden. This man better have thermal and God's hawk eyes. Another good spot you can use right here is head glitch. For not head glitching, but you're almost head glitching. You can see through a crack right here. You see your window. And then you can see the left doorway. You pretty much have both of them locked. And it's very effective. Another spot you can use that I like to use a lot. A lot of pros use it. Is you can actually, you see this crack right here? I hope you guys are watching this crack right here. Well, you can see them cross into tin through this crack. And as soon as they cross, well, guess what? You just free it. Boom. You're dead. It's a very useful spot. Now, one of my favorites, a very hidden spot. A lot of people are starting to check it now just because, well, not a lot of people. I'll say like more, more of the pros, the S&D stars, people who are really well known about the spot is if you get here somehow or you want to watch flank, you literally sit in this corner like this. Now, the reason this spot is so good is for a couple reasons. One, if they run like this, they can't see you. The camera does not allow to see them. Two, if you ever go in the spot, all right, so the problem is you might consider, hey, my gun's probably peeking out. I don't, I think it's your, if, unless you have like a big long gun like this, it's, if you have a pistol or a small gun, it shouldn't peek out much. But what I recommend is what I do in a lot of situations, a lot of corners, is in this game, if you poked, if you peek to the left, like something in front of you, your gun pulls down. So it, it I guess it solves the problem when your gun peeks out in a lot of video games. So what you want to do is you want to, Go to the left, put your gun out, and still have angle to the right. So you can see them crossing in. It's a very hidden, effective spot. People are going to run right past you, and then boom, 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 boom. Now, I pretty much showed you all the spots around the maps, even though it's on the defense side. I showed you so many spots. So I'm going to show you two more little things real quick, and then we're going to go to plant spots for bombs. So right here, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually crouch right here. Let me show you right here. You can do this. So you can see Brick's entrance. You're like pretty much on a tree and you can kind of see it right now. This spot isn't that useful. If you want to use it, go ahead. And then you can also do this right here while running on this wall. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this already. You wall run on this wall, peek. You can peek the field or junkyard, whatever you want to call it. See if anybody's there. 
you know, call out to your teammates, maybe even get a kill. Now, when it comes to planting A, there's three ways you can play this bomb, but I make it four. So, we're going to go really quickly with the play. So, you can obviously plant it right here. You know, nothing special. Just plant it behind the bomb. Now, with this, you obviously have to come in. Or you should, one of your two, one or two teammates should be playing this room right here. Just so you can check the bomb of every once in a while. Now, the only thing about planting here, it's probably the safest way. Because you can't really get shot from middle. And if your teammate's watching this, and you're completely fine to plant. But, you know, it's not really in a nice spot where you can teammates can clutch up if they have to. Now, for the second spot, a spot that's really good and a lot of pros do because it's that good is this corner right here. You're pretty much stretching a bomb. You can't get shot from middle. You're giving the, the bomb plant position right to your teammate in 10. And the only way you can die is if a guy comes through here pretty much. So the reason this spot is so good is because you can control it from 10. A guy can watch the bomb from right here. A guy could be watching the flank. And another reason why this ball plan could be so good is obviously because, you know, they have to push you out. They have to make a play. You guys are pre aiming already because it's in that good of a spot. Another way you could do it, instead of planting here, it's obviously safer, is you can plant it right here, which is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is you're a little bit more vulnerable to mid when planting, but you can watch it from two angles, from here and here. So it's a lot easier to clutch and it makes the team, whoever, it makes the other team like more hectic because they don't know what to watch. Now for the last one, one of my favorites is this one right here. You're going to stretch it right here. Now why is this so good? Now obviously you're a little bit vulnerable planning this one as well. But the reason why is this so good is because we're going to go back to what I showed you guys earlier. This spot right here. You can watch the cross and guess what? You can watch the bomb. And even if you weren't there, you can still watch the bomb from middle. You can just do this. You know, it's a very highly effective spot. Very good. So for playing this bomb, you get to plant it right here in a default way. You can plant it here. Now, I have two clutch situation spots you can use. Now, this one obviously is probably one of the best ones right here. You stretch in this left corner. Now, the reason why this is so good, it's out in the open. On top of it being out in the open, you don't know where the guy could be coming from. He could come here, easily peek bomb like this, shoot you. Or usually if they're playing heavy train, this spot is so good is because boom. You can see the bomb plant from the head glitch. You don't even need to get out of this head glitch. So you can easily kill that guy defusing the bomb right there. And then you're obviously in the head glitch. And one of my other favorite spots is right here in the front. You can stretch it a little bit like right here. That way they're not that hidden. Now the reason this spot is so good is because you can play this a couple ways. You could literally go from train, back out, go from train, rotate all the way around middle. No one's going to hop the bomb that fast that they do. You just got really unlucky. And people aren't going to check middle after like 10 seconds, you know. I mean, they might check it a little bit, mid like a little later. You can literally go middle, do this. Boom, you see Bob right here. Literally, look what I'm looking at. You see Bob. And I don't even think you need to look and jump on top of the truck. You just do this. You can see the bomb plant. But, you know, the reason this spot is so good is because it catches people off guard. If someone does not expect you to go middle and think you can watch the bomb from middle. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, especially if you want to see more. Subscribe for more daily content. Uh, this has been your boy, Apti. I hope you all have a great day. And, you know, I'll just keep doing this. As long as you guys want me to keep doing this and, sh and sh like, showing me support, I got you. Apathy, out.